And we are rolling. Whoops. Cameras are reversed, stopping down the fingers. And into the palm. And the head of the pinky. It's down. And down to the wrist. Up to the knuckles and the cross. And let's leave the ball in the palms. Interlace the fingers and squeeze. And release. Squeeze. Release. And one more time, squeeze. And release. Let's go around the back. Switch. Switch. And switch. Change the waist, go through the legs. Switch. 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 Put the ball on the floor. Press on the feet to you. Step on the ball. Press down three times. Bring it up to the knuckles. Press on each. Roll across the knuckles. Roll across the top of the heel. Press just below the first knuckle. At the side of the top of the heel. And in the middle of the first knuckle. Roll down each of the bones. And strip it. Three, two, one, release, reassess, and repeat on the other side. Three times in the middle. Knuckles. Roll across the knuckles. Roll across the top of the heel. Rest in the three spots. Roll down the bones. And scoop. Three, two, one, get the ball out of the way, reassess the feet. And we're going to do some wood chops. You can just come up to uh, as high as it feels comfortable to do and come down. And then diagonally across the body. Same thing. And then diagonally the other way. And 
and I'm the secretary. On the center, twist it the waist, swing the arms. And center, it's a motion wave breathing. Fingers and thumb at the base of the spine. Step out together, starlight. And center, gather it in the other direction. Take some steps forward. And then knee towards the opposite elbow. Two, three. One head touch close. Four, five, six, eight. And then lock the opposite heel in the front. One. And then behind you. And then take the cross step with the twist in the front. And then walk or march or jump. So, some of the seated exercises today, including the 10 stands before us, we sit down, sort of a squat. Do you might want to stick to squats or not? But whatever you do, be safe. Let's see, let's go hop. And uh, I'm gonna do some Tibetans after class. We get going in five, four, three, two, 
one. Then, And two. Two breaths. We need to raise the fingers. And hands up overhead. So up on your toes if you can. And down. Bend back. Come back to center into one side, drop one hand. And then the other. Come back to center. Use the fingers, drop to the chest, push out. Come on down, interlace behind the back, raise up, go a little higher, and come on down and stroke. And roll the shoulders back. And then forward. Then the arms and rotate. Go the other way. Thumbs up, thumbs down. And bring one arm across the body here, I see. And then the other. One arm behind the back, press down in. And then the other. We're going to have both elbows rock side to side. Put your fists on your temples and knees the elbows in and back. And then come down, form an L, squeeze the shoulder blades together and hold. Release, squeeze, release, and squeeze. And the release, come down, rotate the neck. Go the other way. No.
And you'll hear the children. And cup your center, bring your hand up if you can, and cup the ear and look up. And down. And then go the other way. Oops. And down. Come back to center, tuck in the chin. Act like a pigeon. Let's do a side run. And go the other way. And come on up and grab a stick. I'm going to do a modified gym stick routine. Says the uh, gym stick is mostly legs. It doesn't involve a lot of lifting over the head. And we'll skip the first two. A dynamic swimmer and then back and forth to go right to the waist. Twisting at the waist. And one more, and then we're going to go down. Stick is on top of the knees, hands come around front in between the knees as you hinge at the waist and pull up. And then bring the stick out front, hold on with two hands, step back, stretch your shoulders. As you hinge. Come on up, bring the stick across the body with one hand. Other hand comes underneath and grabs the other shoulder. Hinge at the waist and tug gently. Repeat that the other way. And then put the stick against the side of the foot, push out with the top hand, pull it with the bottom as you can take the waist. And we keep that on the other side. Put the stick forward, bring one foot about six inches away, put the top of the stick on the shoulder, slide down, lift the sole of the foot, and wait. Come back up, repeat that stretch to the other leg. Come on back up, press the sole of the first stick 
uh, first put against the state. And then the other. And then the bring one foot forward here on the toes and the other foot come down. Lower still safe and stretch the hip flexors. Repeat the other way. Come on back up, grab one foot by the shin, ankle, or toes, and stretch the quads. And then the other. One foot in front, press the knees, start the back, change at the waist. And then the other. And we come on back up, put the stick in front, hold on with two hands, one hand or a finger or two, step back, feet are about shoulder width apart, dig the toes into the ground, come back onto the fifth metatarsal and hold. And then rock towards the first and back towards the fifth. Those are still crunched into the ground. Three, two, one, all right. Stick can go down. We're going to grab a chair. I will do 10 sit to stands. I'm going to move my hands around. You can either follow me or keep them where you feel safer. And then we'll sit down, cross one leg over the other, and rotate the ankle in one direction. And then the other. Point the toes towards and away from the shin. Put your hands on your knee, lean forward, press the knee towards the floor, and hold. Come on up, cross the other leg, rotate the ankle. Go the other way. Point towards and away from the shin. And 
can express on the knee and lean forward. You're in the middle of the chair. If you can lift your hands overhead, but if you can't, you can cross them. The chest, we're going to lean forward and come back about 10 times. And the stomach engaged, floor engaged. And then definitely cross the hands and pack the back of the chair and come back. And then sit back. Pick up the feet and kick. And three, two, one. Bring your toes and feet on the floor and stomp some gorillas. Three, two, one, and hold. Um, let's put the palms together and press in. And then one hand on top of the other, grab the fingers and pull apart. Reverse the position of the hands and repeat. Up the biceps. Come on back and do some seated jacks, going only as high as you can. And set. All right. I'm going to do the breathing sitting down. It's four short ones in. One long inhale through the nose and then a slow exhale through the mouth. Four rounds. Here we go. Stand up, get the chair out of the way. Uh, 
and then rub the hands together carefully. And chi ball. And center. Two breaths. Let's open our hearts. Pausing on this inhale, exhaling to send back. And center, two breaths. Pulling down chi from the butt. And gather it from below. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mira. Have a great uh, weekend. Hope you're feeling better. Yeah. I'll see you Monday. Okay. Take okay. care. And I'm going to do the five Tibetans here. You can twist at the waist and swing your arms, or you can join me by spinning. Watch out, Kat. Do it your own pace, nice and slow spine. Up to 11. I think the has to hit around that. So we'll call that 11. Take your time. I'm going to move the camera to the floor. A couple of breaths when you get done. All right. In the modified version, the soles of the feet are on the floor. Hands can either be by the side, but if you need support under the lower back, indeed, put them under the lower back. You need support at the neck, put them under the head. Head, neck, and shoulders come up at the same time as so the head right back down. In the regular version, the legs are extended. They come up as you bring the head, neck, and shoulders up. That's one. We're going to do up to the left. When you're down with your breaths. We get on our knees. Yeah. Right, let's go back. Hands are on the thighs of the glutes. If you can't bend backwards, just rock back to your knees and forward. But if you can, extend and then come one. Up to left.
empty breast. Sit down. Hands are by your hips, preferably, but if you need to put them behind you. Again, the soles of the feet can be on the floor for the modified versions, leg extended for the regular one. Either way, we're coming up into an extended inverted <laughs> inverted table. I can extend it. I don't know. Three. Up to a left. Empty breaths. Turn around. On all fours. You can do the cobra in the modified version. Or do down dog to up dog in the regular. Up to left. And then come around, park your legs, it ever feels right this morning. Thank you, guys. We're going to rotate six times in one direction, five in the other. You can do it sitting up or bending down. On the last round, we're going to Stretch out in the middle of the lunch round and do some box breathing or in or hold or out or hold. And we'll do a little left side and right. And here we go. Switching directions. And stretching out. Box break. Box breath over the left knee. And then the right. Come on up. Reverse the position of the legs. What was on top goes below. What was in front, if that's the way you had it, goes behind. We're going to do 11 rotations again, but we're going to start in the opposite direction. Do six that way, five the other. And three more rounds of box speed. Here we go. And stretching out. Box breath. Do it on the right knee. And 
terminal. Have a wonderful Saturday. See you on Monday.